Hi everyone and welcome back to the IT Hub and welcome back to the series in the lessons on the Food and Rum Festival SB. In today's lesson, we're going to be trying to complete three activities. Those three activities are to sort the data in the sponsorship worksheet, to gen in the sponsorship worksheet, extract all sponsors with a tier one sponsorship, as well as to generate a pivot table to summarize the total sponsorship at each tier. We're gonna first look at the sorting of the data in the sponsorship worksheet. But before I get into that, I want to point out something to you on the sponsorship table. Now you would have recognized when we entered the sponsorship levels, we would have typed the tier one, two and three, as in T-I-E-R space one or T-I-E-R space two or T-I-E-R space three. You would have entered it in this area here, in that manner. Also, when you did the sponsorship table with the values, you'd have typed it the same way underneath the tier column. If you notice, mine now has no space in the names of the tiers. So before we go ahead and do the, the filter or anything else, I want you to just fix that for me, please. Go ahead and take out the spaces that are in the tier one, tier two, and tier three. If you don't remove the spaces, when it's time for you to do the filter, the filter is not going to work properly. It's gonna come up blank. So please do that first. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to do the first activity under task B, which is sorting. And it says you are to sort the data in the sponsorship worksheet by the name of the organization in ascending order. So two criteria, sort it based on the name of the organization and we're gonna do that in ascending order. In order to do this, we simply highlight all the headings from organization name straight across to total sponsorship and then down to the very last figure. And then we're going to go to the data tab on the ribbon and then we're going to click on sort in the sort and filter group. We're going to in the sort by area drop down the arrow and select organization name. It is essential students that you ensure that the box that says my data has headers that it is checked. In the order drop down list, you're going to ensure that it says A to Z and that is from ascending, um, in ascending order. And then you're going to select A to Z, you're going to click OK. So you'll notice that my screen, the data on my screen reorganize itself and it looks like this based on organization name. So you should have the, the names going down in alphabetical order. So that is our start. Now the next activity under task B says that you are to, in the sponsorship worksheet again, extract all sponsors with a tier one sponsorship. Now we are gonna be using a, an advanced sort. So the first thing we're going to do students is to copy the headings for our table. So I'm going to go ahead and go, please ensure that you start from column A. So I'm gonna go start in A16 because when you scroll across, you're going to see that sponsorship level and sponsorship value are in that row. So I'm going to click from A16, go across and then come all the way down. No, not all the way down, just to, down to where you have total sponsorship. I'm gonna right click, I'm going to copy those headings. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go below the table I have here. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to click here and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to paste the headings, right? Now you are told that you must have, a, you're getting those that have a tier one sponsorship. So what you're going to do is you can copy the tier one that you have written here and you're going to right click and paste it on the tier one in the heading. Now that we have pasted the tier one, the tier one is going to be that criteria that will pull out the specific tier one sponsors or sponsors who have a tier one sponsorship. All right, so that's the first and the second step. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight the area with the data. So I'm not gonna bother to select the, the first the row that has in this A16 in it. I'm gonna just highlight the main body of the data. Then I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to click advanced in sort and filter. 
Then it says list range. So this area that I selected earlier is going to be my list range. The criteria range now is going to be the area that I had pasted below. So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm gonna highlight organization name along with the row that has tier one in it and go right across the total sponsors. Then now in the copy to box, I'm going to select the copy to another location option button. And I'm gonna click in the copy to box and I'm going to scroll down on my spreadsheet and scroll across and I'm gonna put it just about two or so rows below my original data headings and click in the first cell. So I'm using A48 in this case, then I'm going to click OK. When I click OK, my screen is going to jump, but once I scroll back down, I'm going to be able to see all the sponsors who have a tier one sponsorship. You will notice that they may also have a tier two or tier three, but the good thing is that it only picked out the ones who had tier one, because if you notice students, I had far more sponsors than this, but the only ones that are showing now are the ones that have a tier one sponsorship. All right, so we are ready now for the third activity on the task B. And that actually says generate a pivot table to give a summary of the total sponsorship at each tier. Meaning I would like at the end of the pivot table to be able to summarize and see the total for total sponsorship for tier, at tier one, tier two, and tier three. Now, in order to do this, I am going to highlight the data. We're not going to select those two green and the green and yellow filled areas. Just highlight the data there. I'm going to go to the insert tab and in the right hand, sorry, the left hand corner, I'm going to select pivot table. I'm going to put it on a new worksheet. Should I, should I not? I will put on a, I put on a new worksheet. So the option is there already selected. I'm going to click OK. Now you will notice that the pivot table options come up on the right hand side of your screen. I want to summarize the tier one, tier two, and tier three sponsors. These are the headings that have the values underneath them, as in the money values. These ones, the tier one, tier two, tier three I have here, only have the levels. So these are the ones that have the sponsorship values. You will notice that it says some of tier one, some of tier two, some of tier three, and that's the total here. But I don't want it to look that way. So I'm going to, in the columns, box, I'm going to drop it down and see where it says values. I'm going to say move to row labels. So my tier one, two, and three labels will come in the, as row headings instead of column headings. All right. And that students is a pivot table. I'm just going to merge and center this area. I'm going to type pivot table at the top. And I'm going to just fill the box. And let's see, put a border around it. And that's my pivot table. And now I'm going to rename the sheet by right clicking on the sheet, saying rename, and just call it pivot table. And that students is your pivot table. I'm just gonna go ahead, bold that, change the font style to font size to 14. And I'm also going to insert a few rows, so I highlight a few rows at the top, right click, insert, and I'm going to copy the same data I had on the other sheet, which is this data here, right click, copy. Go back to my pivot table, and I'm going to right click and paste. So open up this column here, and there we have, and the pivot table sheet is complete. If you have found this video useful, I want you to like the video, share with your classmates, share with your colleagues so that they can get access to the video as well. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so and ensure that your friends and other persons can benefit from the information that is being shared here.